Hey, we did a video on Clamp and how you can use that to kind of set the sizes of your fonts in Elemental, but you can use it on any WordPress website, basically where you can drop in a bit of CSS. It allows you to have your fonts, you know, enlarge and shrink as the screen changes rather than an abrupt change from desktop to tablet to mobile. It's more fluid, fluid typography. But I've gone and created a calculator. Now, look, before anyone jumps on my back, it is ugly. It's not, you know, brand spanking HTML or anything. And hopefully that will come over time. But what this is, is an embedded Excel file. You can't break it basically, you know, or overwrite it. But the idea is, is that you could go in here and you could put in your root HTML. Most people are actually going to leave this as a 16, so you don't need to change it. But what you have is you have your tags from header one to header six, your body and your paragraph. So if I was to go over here and start changing the values where I say, okay, what is the range of my typography gonna be or the font size for my header one? So when you get to the 380 pixel size or mobile, I want it the, the smallest size of that header to be 16 pixels. And when it's at 1200, the threshold there, it's now gonna be 80 pixels big. So between 1,200 and 380, the size will enlarge and shrink. But when you get to 1,200, that's it. 80 pixels is the maximum. And when you get to 380, it is 16. And if you go below 380, it does not drop below 16, right? That is our range. And the great thing about this calculator is it is interactive. So I could go in and go, well, I'm gonna change that to be 400. I might change that to be 1,100. And what you have on the right hand side is the result and basically the results chop and change as you pop in your values. Maybe you don't want to use pixels for your font. You're very much in, you know, clued up with REM. So you might go over here and you change that to be REM. And then you might say, we're going to have one over there. And for our maximum font size, again, we're going to use REM. And I'm going to go for, say, five like that. Again, your values are going to chop and change. Now, I'm just going to very quickly pop these all back to what they were originally. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all of this. And this is the reason why I created this. There's a lot of calculators out there where you can do them like one line at a time. You know, um, so if you want to do header one, you pop in your values, then you do header two, then you do header three, header four. What if you want to have everything like done in one go? And don't forget, once you've done this, you could copy and paste it into another Excel file or somewhere. So you've got a record of what your values were. Of course, to do the formulas, you've got to use this sheet over here. And the link for this page is in the description. And I'm going to show you what this does. But the beauty about this is, look, you just do that. Control C, and you've now copied everything in one go. So if we go over to this fake little page I have over here, I've got header one all the way down to header six, paragraph and body text. This is a fake website. There's no other styling applied. This is just standard out the box with Elementor. And remember, you can do use this on Bricks or any other WordPress website. I'm going to go here now, and I'm literally just going to paste in what I copied like that all in one go. You don't have to copy this one over here. So where I've got the font size, you don't have to copy that. If your font size is going to be, you haven't changed this value here, you could just copy those ones there. If, however, you went and changed it to be a 10, then all of the values below will also modify. So you want to kind of take the whole thing because now you are not sticking into what we call the standard browser default root HTML of 16. By the way, when your browser HTML is 16, then REM1 is 16 pixels. 2REM is 32 pixel. Some people like to go with a root HTML of 10 pixel so that 2REM is 20 pixel, 1.5REM is 15 pixel. You can see how the mathematics becomes a little bit easier. But if we now go over here, as soon as I pasted that in, and if you're wondering where I was to do that, when you're in your Elemental page or however you're using this, I went over to the hamburger site settings and then down here we have custom CSS and I dropped it in there. The reason why it's a good idea to do it there is that you don't have to do it individually on every single page and it means you can access this at any time as well. So I've just applied a little bit of consistency. Everything is basically now the same size. And let me now show you what this looks like if we go to preview. As I shrink, the font is also shrinking. And it's not, I mean, I can't shrink all the way to 380, right? Because I'm just dragging my screen here, but it would have gone a little bit smaller. 
But can you see it's just growing and enlarging like in a fluid way? Whereas if you were to use the standard font sizes that you normally type in for uh, desktop, tablet, mobile, you would have big, then it goes like that, then it goes smaller and you get a jump. But if you really want to do fluid typography, I think, um, well, clamp, the functionality is clamp. I should have mentioned that earlier, but it's using the clamp functionality to do this. And the only beauty about what I'm basically giving you here is it's all in one go. So you could very easily do it, copy and paste that into another Excel sheet or Google Sheets or wherever. So you've got a record of what you had used or how you'd worked it out and all of that, not how you worked it out. But then if you ever want to change it, you just come over here. This is completely free, okay? You know, formulas and things like that. And there are fancy ways to do this. And I'm pretty sure I will try and do a fancier version very, very soon once I get around the problem of how do I show everything in one go, but hey, that's my problem. Hey, I'm Imran, Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow and kind of start messing around with a little bit of clamping. Yeah, go and clamp. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the pack.